today I'm going to do an unboxing. I just received the SE 1900 that is created and sold by Brother. And so let's go ahead and see what we have inside of our box. Taking out our cardboard. So this is our foot pedal that you can use. And then the extension cord. And this is the thread attachment. There's a couple boxes inside the box. Let's see what's inside this box. It's like Christmas. Okay, so this is the 5x7 hoop that goes with the embroidery machine. Now, this is the attachment for the embroidery machine. The embroidery attachment. So it has its own little box. Okay, so this piece right here is going to go inside of your machine. It's for where your bobbin goes. It's the bobbin case. And came with your very first spool of thread, white thread. tool kit has your extra feet in it and you've got some other accessories that came with the machine. So this is the, the Brother 1900 machine. It's beautiful. We'll show you how it looks all set up in a minute. Okay so see here we have I have my machine up on the table. And now I'm going to show you how to prepare it for your first time sewing. Okay, so first we want to take off these blue pieces of tape. Set them aside. The tape down here is securing a little box where you're going to keep your little tool bag that you received. So right here, you're going to go behind. There's a little foot that you lift up and then you pull this out. Oh, look at this. We have a little card that came with it. It's a thank you card. It says, thank you for your brother embroidery machine purchase. We hope you loved your new machine. To share appreciation, please enjoy this coupon for one free embroidery designs at iBroidery.com. So anyway, that is a special gift. We can go and get our first embroidery design for free. So we need to continue taking off the tape. This tape is holding down the bottom part of the machine. This looks like we're going to have to pop off and open up our box here to get the rest of the tape off. So you have to open it up. inside of our little box and we have our bob extra bobbins. These are the extra feet that you're going to use for regular sewing. So this right here is a button holder so you can make your own button holes. So you can see your own make your own button holes with that. And this right here is a seam ripper. So you, when you remove this, there's another piece of tape in here. We're going to remove that and this right here is what you're going to need for embroidering. So this right here is your embroidery foot and you will put this on for whenever you are going to do your embroidery designs. Okay so and there's a special place for it right in here to store it whenever you aren't using it. And 
this is one of the items that came with the sewing machine which I actually had to look inside my book. Inside the book it explains that this is a knee pedal and so and it goes right inside of the spot right here so you stick it in and then instead of using a foot pedal so the foot pedal you would plug in right here so you choose one or the other you can either use your foot pedal or a knee pedal with the foot pedal everyone knows right you're gonna push it down with your foot right so it would be down here and then you would push away to make it go slower fast right and this would be plugged in here with the knee pedal then you're going to push it with your knee to make it go and stop. So this is going to be more ideal if you have a table that's a little bit lower. This is my kitchen table and so it it's kind of high for me so it's, it's actually not really in a good position for me to use it. So this right here is more ideal so we'll plug that in go ahead and turn on the machine. To turn on the machine it's over here on the right hand side. You just push the button and turn it on. And here's the intro screen. Stunning stitches, artistic inspirations, and then we can click the button. So here you're going to do your setup. So I speak English. You could go to other languages though if you speak German, French, Italian. Wow, there's a lot of these. So anyway, you can go through, find which language works for you, and I'm back to English again, and I'm going to push it. Okay. Okay, that was awesome. Okay, so now I just set it up. So it's set up for this, the foot that it has right now, and it's got the different stitches that you can choose. And you can see up here, you can see all the different stitches that it comes with. There's some really neat stitches. My son actually pointed out. I can't, don't have the best of eyes, but right here, this is a little car. So these are cars. You can do a border of cars. And these are bicycles. And right here are bumblebees. We also have, I like the hearts that are right here. And then there's other swirlies. One thing for quilters that I really enjoy too, there's 36 right here and 35 right here. I think it's going to be their quilting stitches and I'm sure it's going to be the size of the quilting stitch that it will do how wide it is. So I'm in the, in the manual it'll talk more about that. So these are just some of the stitches you play with. You also have to do letters. They've got the line, the, the cursive, the, the bold that's empty, and then I'm not sure which, if this is Japanese or which language that is. So, anyway, so these are some fun things just to look at and to try out on your machine. So, I'm going to show you now how to turn this into an embroidery machine. You're going to pull off this case right here, set it aside, and then you need to get that extra embroidery unit that came with the machine. This is the embroidery unit. You see this piece right here. You're going to make sure that the bottom part slides up so it goes on top of this base part right here. Okay, so this is a little door right here. So you actually have to slide it open and then there's the attachment piece right there. So we're going to slide it in and attach it right inside of that door and you have to give it a little push and snap it on. Okay, to release you're going to put, there's a button underneath your embroidery machine right here and you're going to squeeze that and then you hear the click and then you're going to slide it off and there you have it. That's how you release your your cartridge to you for your embroidery machine. Okay, so one of the first things we need to do is remove the foot. So to remove the foot, there's a little button back here on the bottom here. You're going to, if you see where my finger is, you're just going to push it and it falls down. I'll just set that aside for a minute. Okay? So 
this slides all the way to the left. If you look on your hoop, there's little slots. So this one is just going to slide down evenly. So to get it underneath here, you hold up your presser foot so it's high, slide it down, then it's inside of the center of the hoop. Move your hoop so it's right even with your little notches. You bring it over and then you're going to slide it down with your thumbs. You're going to press down till it clicks. Okay, so now that's how your hoop will, will be on. You can see, and this is important for when you are hooping your items. Let's remember that the screw will always be on the bottom when you're hooping your item. This is how we remove the hoop. There's a button right here on the left. Your right hand is going to reach through and grab the corner of your hoop. Squeeze with your left hand this button and then you're going to pull up with your hand. Take your left hand, pull on your press foot so it comes up. So it's got a little bounce and you slide it underneath and then you've got it. So now we want to remove our presser foot and, and the whole thing so that we can make it into an embroidery foot. So what we have to do first is we need to push this button and remove the foot and we'll put it immediately away in our case. So then we want to pull out our, our screwdriver and then we're going to come over onto this side and all it takes is one little turn. And it falls off. So as you can see it's just the piece that was attached. Okay. Now we're going to grab our embroidery foot. So there's a little lever right here. You're going to push that down and that lifts up the foot and you see how it goes up and down. So you're going to put it in the position to hook it on to your screw. Okay, so there you've got it latched on now. You're going to bring it over here and then you're going to tighten the screw. Okay. You can refer to page B52 and it has step-by-step -step instructions for how to do that. Now that your embroidery um, foot is on, now you are ready to get started on your first design. So what we're going to do is we're going to look down at our, em th this right here is our bobbin. So you need to decide what color of bobbin thread you want and you're going to wind your bobbin. So we do have a, a bobbin winder right here that you can use or you can buy pre-wound bobbins either at Walmart or any sewing store that is near you. There's even some online. Okay, my bobbin is all wound now. and. One thing I'll remember is you always need your thread to come down on the left side. If you can't remember, they actually have this wonderful picture right here that you can always look at to remind you. Okay, so once it's there, you put it in. You take it and you wrap it around this little tooth-like thing. Bring your thread around and pull and it rips it off, it cuts it. Then you take your little lid, there's a little notch, you slide it in and then you push it down. Again to release you just pull this out to the right and it pops up, take it out, take out your thread, again one more time to show how it goes in, goes in and wrap it around and cut it off. Put your lid back on. Okay, you are ready to go. So this is our 
our unboxing for the Brother SC1900. Thank you for watching, and if you like what you saw, please subscribe and like below. Thanks. Bye.